There we go. Now we can lunge forward. Okay, let's put that back at a smaller value. I just want to have those mechanics where you can just kind of build up crazy speed. Yeah, there we go. This, I know this is starting to feel like a retro shooter. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out why the global illumination started working and I thought maybe it was because I added light maps. So then I tried adding some cubes here that didn't have light maps on them and they still seem to be getting the ambient occlusion stuff. So I don't know why it wasn't working. Like, I don't know what was going on last night. I just thought of a good name for Trimble, potentially. If we're going with the steampunk slash clockwork theme, what about clocked and loaded? <laughs> Oh, Static does SDFGI as well. So maybe I have to have that set and reload the current project. There it is. Okay. Mystery solved for the moment. Now we're about an hour in and have gotten back to where we were when we started. Hashtag game dev. I think Quake had like 300 triangle models. So we're well above that. We're not quite going to go down that far, but you know, just have that super low poly aesthetic. Kind of like how you remember it in your mind, because back then, you know, you saw the polygons, but it looked amazing. Now you go back at some of these old games, and it's like, ooh, those were those were really low poly. After these stretches. We'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a stretch break. And I'll be back. There it is. I was waiting for somebody to do it. The drum roll's still long. <laughs> nice. So my current pair of suspenders, the elastic kept stretching out on it. There were clips that were like down here and I had to keep moving them back because they kept stretching out more and more. And now they're like almost all the way back as far as I can go. I was tired of suspenders falling apart, so. There we go. I like how it's all miniatures. <laughs> I kind of like that first one just because the way it like covers the face. That one's kind of cool too. <laughs> <laughs> that actually turned out pretty well. That one's wearing suspenders. I got one of them. I wonder if maybe I should like have this draped down and have like a bell hanging on it or something like that. Of course, Fublaz would hate that. <laughs> it's just like an army of cowbells coming at you. On the plus side, you can shoot them all. Oh my gosh, this actually works. Cultus is coming after me. Shadows are a little weird. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like a magic landing pad. Thanks for the boost, cultist. Yeah, you can't walk up steps yet. Ha ha! Can't get me, cultist. I'm upstairs. <laughs> Perfect. See if this just magically works. Surprisingly, it does. I didn't mess with the weight painting, so some of that stuff is messed up, but I also need to add some stuff for his bell to dangle. I don't want him actually running off, though. So how do I make the root not move? Ah, uh, was there an option for that? In place. Oops. It's okay. It's not game dev if you don't have to do things multiple times. Oh, uh, I see what they're doing. They're not animating the root bone. They're animating the entire freaking thing. The whole, this whole thing. That's annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you animate the entire position? Because I was going to say, I didn't think you could animate the root bone. So this is the problem with them moving the root around is because then when I click on something and I don't have the armature selected, then it moves the mesh and then that just screws everything up. Oh, <laughs> gosh, that's... <laughs> Last thing you want is Bellface McCultus attacking you in the dark alley. I didn't think he got down here. I'm trapped. Let's see if we get take damage called. Let me shoot this thing. We do. So, four shots, boom, dead. Blonk. <laughs> so I messed around with the lighting some more. I was doing the Voxel GI instead of the SDF GI, and that, that looks a lot better and a lot more consistent. Like in this over here, like the house color was drastically changing, and like this area was getting darker and brighter. That seems to be a lot more consistent, so that's good. But also, I think the performance might be worse with this approach. Ultimately, I'm gonna probably have to do baked light map GI, but that crashes at the moment, so until that gets fixed, can't do that. It just knows, it knows what you like, Combine. You like the big long brown tube. <laughs>
beautiful duet. So this is what the game, or this is what that this level looks like, textured in paintball too. All right, I need to make these a little more pronounced when we scale it down. Mm -hmm. We're starting to get that quick leg vibe. So it does use the light direction for the normals. That's one thing I was kind of curious of. Because the Voxel GI looks a lot better. Just runs slower. Oh gosh, yeah. It's like notable frame rate hit. I can feel the stutter. But like visually it looks way better. But it can give that genuine uh, early quake experience when you're running at like 10 FPS. I heard a windy sound too. That was interesting. These boots are made for kicking, and that's just what they'll do. I think it's time to make some fully sound effects. All right, what will this sound like if we do wave 8-bit PCM at 11 kilohertz mono? Oof. Sounds very staticky. I wonder why it sounds so crackly. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go that retro. <laughs> That was timed pretty well. <laughs> Sound will emanate directly from his groin as it should. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> the landing sound made it sound like somebody just dropped dead after that. <laughs> Hope you weren't offended too badly by that. So if I move my mouse, you can see that we've fired multiple shots. There we go. Nice grouping, I think. Spitball shotgun. Yeah, we need to do... Target visual. Um. <laughs> well, they're moving at least. So there's that. This should be set to target visual. And this should be set to the transform. The whole transform. There we go. I mean, maybe I should just fire a position. I don't know. Like, should that hit the box? Or should it be, if you've got clear line of sight on your crosshair, should it hit? All right, where's our cultist? I want to blast him with nine shots. There he is. Blah! What? <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> exactly. Oh nice, I can kill him over and over again. <laughs> so if we do this, the weapon and character won't move anymore. I look, look around, sort of, whoa. Uh, excuse me? The heck is going on? There, I can look back and forth. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Like, I don't know what is going on. It's almost like some weird gimbal lock stuff. 
Oh, wait a second. Is it because of the... <laughs> is it because it's non-uniformly transformed? Does that mess with the, the view of the camera? It does. Oh, that's wild. Usually it's just good out of the crashes. And ready? Boop. Oh my gosh, it didn't crash immediately. It is making my stream stutter though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello at five frames a second. Godot has actually surpassed Firefox in memory usage. Impressive. <laughs> oh, classy. It looks very flat. Did this even do anything? It doesn't look like it did anything. Is there any light map? What happened? All right, what happens if we do directional on, balances zero, denoiser off? I just want to see if it will bake the directional lights and see how long it takes. Oh, there we go. That's that's the Godot behavior I'm used to. Try to bake a light map and it just crashes. At least you get a result of it not working a lot faster. So, anyway, had fun tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this game dev stuff and thanks for hanging out. And until next time, I'll see you later. Of course, a big thanks to my patrons who support all this crazy nonsense that I do while I'm doing game development. I really do appreciate it. And if maybe you're interested in getting your name up on this list here with all these awesome people, uh, or you maybe more importantly want access to the alpha build of Kook, you could become a patron too. Oh yeah, and if you think this project looks cool, be sure to add Kook to your wishlist on Steam.